Follow these steps to convert your GVC2 controlled machine to a flex controlled machine with a 7 inch touchscreen. You will need this flex conversion kit. First, make sure your machine is turned off. We recommend unplugging it from the wall as well to be absolutely sure. Now remove the connections from the control board. The flex board will have similar connections, so it's helpful to remember where the connections are plugged in. It is recommended to take a photo with your phone before starting to use as a reference. We will go over the connections to the flex board later in the video. Once the connections are removed, you can release the board from the mounting posts. Flex the clips to remove it from the mount. There are three clips on each side. Now remove these four number 8 nuts with an 11 32nd inch socket so you can remove the plastic control board mount. Push out the display cover through the back. Next, remove these four nuts holding the bill validator in place. Take off the bill validator and remove the harness here. Remember that these two white pegs are at the bottom of the connector. To remove the keypad, take off these number 8 nuts with an 11 32nd inch socket, including the one with the ground wire. Remove the keypad and cable like so. Apply this label to the bezel window here. Place some masking tape in the front to hold it in place. Make sure the SBC Raspberry Pi mounting bracket is facing this way. Use the four screws to secure these parts together. Place the SBC Raspberry Pi mount in place on the side of the door here and use the two screws to secure it in place. Now place the black filler plate on the touch screen so these holes line up. These connectors are on the top edge of the touch screen. Hold these pieces together as you insert it into the machine. Secure the touch screen to the four studs with the number 8 nuts removed earlier with the keypad. And now reattach the ground wire. Plug in the bill validator connector like so. Make sure you do not trap any wires when putting the bill validator back into place. Secure with four number 8 nuts removed earlier. Next, place the control board mounting plate here and secure with these four number 8 nuts. Plug in the HDMI cable to the Raspberry Pi here. The power cable goes here. USB-A connector goes into the connection closest to the control board and the wire slides down behind like this. Now attach the SBC Raspberry Pi on the mount. Plug in this serial cable to the SBC Raspberry Pi. Make sure the wires exit at the bottom of the connector. Find the USB-A serial cable from the SBC Raspberry Pi and connect it to the touchscreen here. Plug in the HDMI connector to the touchscreen here. This is the power harness bringing power from the control board to the SBC Raspberry Pi and the touchscreen. Plug into the touchscreen like so. So to recap, here on the touchscreen we have the serial cable from the SBC Raspberry Pi. Then the power cable from the control board going to the touch screen and the SBC Raspberry Pi. And finally, the HDMI cable for the touch screen display data from the SBC Raspberry Pi. Here on the SBC Raspberry Pi, we have the power cord down here, the HDMI cable, and up here the USB serial data connection. This long serial connection goes to the control board. Now place the control board on the mounting bracket by securing it to the four posts and six clips. The DEX harness from the cashless system attaches to the control board here. 
The serial data plugin from the SBC Raspberry Pi goes here. This 3-pin cord is the main power connector to the control board. This 2-pin door switch connector connects here in the upper left corner of the control board. The MDB cable connects the payment systems to the control board here. Up here, plug in the refrigeration connector. Make sure the tab is at the bottom. The motor harnesses are connected here on the left. One connector carries to the columns and the other carries to the rows. The power for the touchscreen and SBC Raspberry Pi plugs in here on the lower left. The gray Ivan harness from the delivery area is connected to the control board here. Now we need to do a motor count, set the refrigeration settings, and set prices. Power on your machine and enter service mode by pressing this blue button here on the control board. Find the motor count menu and select count motors. Then exit out and go to the refrigeration menu. Then temperature setting. Change ambient to cold food on this drop down menu. Be sure to save by pressing this icon. Back out and go to set prices. You can set prices by selecting individual items or a group of items. Or press select all to set all items to one price. Be sure to save when finished. Back out of service mode to transfer data and enter Ven mode. For more assistance, contact VenNet Technical Support at 1 800 833 4411 or email service at vennetusa.com.